My daughter asked me a question this morning. She said, who is Trayvon Martin? She's seven. We turned on the news this morning when we woke up, as we typically do, and they were talking about two rallies that are happening here in St. Louis today in honor of Trayvon and, of course, speaking out against everything that has happened, the tragedy of his death, of his killing, and the fact that the man who killed him is still free. So, do you answer a seven-year-old when she asks such a loaded question? I do. I think it's important that I not hide such a heavy issue from her. And of course it led to so many more questions. But I think that even though she's young, it's important that we talk about things and that I don't try to brush subjects like this under the rug. You know, so she ended up learning what's a rally and we talked about justice and she said, Mom, I don't understand. Trayvon was killed because of the color of his skin. And I said, yes. And she said, but it doesn't matter what color you are. And I said, yes. And because she was responding the way she was and because she seemed to be processing it, we continued to talk. And in my mind, it's important that my daughter and eventually my son understand that these are things we deal with. And it's heartbreaking to me on so many levels because right now, my daughter at seven, to a very large degree, she's colorblind. And it's a story like Trayvon Martin's that introduces her to the notion that so many people aren't and that something like this can happen. And I hope that by explaining to her how something like this can happen and how eventually when she's old enough, the word rally and the word justice are things that, that she can do something about, uh, that, that she's going to be a, a strong enough person to stand on her own two feet and use her own voice for good. Because this type of thing starts at home. And I am determined to teach my children that we won't stand for this kind of thing and that it's not okay. What happened to Trayvon Martin is not okay. Uh, and if I have to start talking to my kids about it when they're really young, this is what I choose to do. Uh, I know that there are sensitive subjects that happen in the news all the time that, that we have to debate. Can our kids handle it? It's not an easy thing to talk about. And there are lots of questions, and I am 100% sure that my daughter is going to come home from school today with more questions, and I'm prepared to answer them. Will you talk to your kids about Trayvon Martin? And will you explain the headiness of the situation, or is this something that you feel they aren't quite ready for?